Good morning, everybody. Caleb here. We're going to have a simple shave, I hope. I'm going to use ProRasso Red. <coughs> Get a little water run dripping. Use my Omega ProRasso brush, bore. I hope everybody is doing quite well. I am alive, so there's that. I'd say we're good. Clear the runways real quick. Nothing going on really big on my side. Just honing and getting ready for firearms deer season again. More working. I do have an edge to test real quick, so let me test this one. Go a little farther with it. Doesn't feel bad. It's definitely taking the hair off good. Well, really well. Anyway. Very smooth. Very smooth. It's a fig edge from a Chinese natural.
Not bad. I know a lot of folks out there seem to be a little bit confused about the Chinese naturals. And that's fine. Not everybody's going to like them. Second pass time. And not everybody has to. I know they're not sexy as Japanese stones, but at least <laughs> to most people, probably. But if you use them within a certain amount of constraints, I think you'll be fine. One thing I have noticed is they seem to leave very skin-friendly edges. And if you treat them with the respect that you should be treating all your sharpening stones. They'll respond well in return, I think. I know, actually, I don't think. I think a lot of folks' problems with these stones is that they don't treat them with even a tithe of the respect they'd give an Escher or something else. And then they're surprised, horrified, shocked, when the stone doesn't respond well. And that's really the key. It doesn't really matter what you're using. If you don't respect it and treat it and the razor you're, using, you're honing on it with respect, well, guess what, sunshine? You're not going to like the shave or the edge. Darn fine shave already. BBS in most places.
as far as affordable edges from affordable stones. Yep. Really, there's nothing to improve. I've got my normal little spot here on the lower right side underneath my jaw. So let me touch that up. I basically have to twist and slide at the same time. I can't do it like Anthony can. He's got a lot more skill and control in his hands than I do. I wind up cutting myself, so I usually have to lean over and twist and push, push this section out. <laughs> All right. I like it. It's a great edge. The razor's cheap. The stone was cheap. The shave was great. You can take that any way you like. You can think about it any way you like, but this hobby is for the little guy, it's for the cheap guy, as much as it's for the big guy. I had a, saw a little discussion on the forum the other day, it's been kind of bothering me a little bit. And if you want to go at it from an affordable, sustainable method and price point, I say go for it. If you have any problems, holler at me, I'll try to help you. If you want to spend, you know, four or five grand on it, just on your stones, well, I don't know if I'll be able to help you or not since I don't have that, I haven't went out and just purposely bought expensive stones, but if you can get a better shave than that, then you're going to have to show me how. See y'all. Have a great week.